Hello, everybody, and welcome to system test number 13, Series 4. Let's go ahead and get started. Right up here for the first notification appliance, we have a system sensor P2W set on 15 Candela. And coming right here, there is nothing on the wall for NAP2. But if we look up on the ceiling, I have my system sensor PC2W also set on 15 Candela. Right here for the first conventional pulse station, we have a Simplex 2099-9756. And coming right here for the second conventional pulse station, we have a Firelight BG12L. Attention in the building, attention in the building. We are about to set off the life and safety system. Please disregard all signals until further notice. Thank you. All right, we're gonna start over here for a change and we will start by pulling the Firelight BG12L the spectral advances are on system sensor sync with selective silence. So, let's go ahead and pull the fire alarm. In three, two, one. This is our system sensor selective silence on the spectral alert advances. And we will go ahead and re-alarm again with the Simplex 2099-9756. Here we go. Now we can just reset the system since all the pull stations have been reset. All right, for our addressable pull station today, we will reactivate the system again by pulling the Johnson Controls JBG 12 LX. Here we go. Three, two, one. And if we look on the ACM48A, we can see that horn circuit 1 and circuit 2 are both remaining lit because they are programmed as a strobe circuit and they are spectral alert advances on two-wire selective silence. So now let's go ahead and hit system reset again. All right, it is now time to test the detectors and we will be testing the heat detectors today. And we will start by activating our heat detector on the B200SLF sounder base with my, here we go, three, two, one.
All right, and we will reactivate the system again by activating the FSP8, I'm sorry, FST851R using my hair dryer. Here we go. Three, two, one. This will be the end of the fire alarms part. I'll show you the selective silence active again. To reset the detectors, all we're gonna do is press system reset. All right, we will be activating the supervisory today and we are going to activate it by activating the RTS-151 key switch. And we're going to to insert my a135 key and we are going to go ahead and start in three two one Okay, now we will go ahead and hit system reset. And before I end the video today, I will do a fire drill on the enunciator. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hold down the button where it says fire drill. Here we go. Three, two, one. Now we'll just reset from the enunciator. Attention in the building, attention in the building. We have concluded the life and safety system test at this time. If you hear any fire signals from this point forward, please obey them. Thank you and I hope you all have a nice day. Okay everybody, this is going to conclude system test number 13 series 4. I hope you enjoyed it. This system was requested by Capt421, so special shout out to him. If you would like to, you may leave a comment down below on what you think of the video. And I will see y'all in the next video. Have a wonderful day, everybody.